Hi guys, I'm SodaMan 148X, bringing you another episode of the Dune Space Mission program thing that I I don't even remember what I named it. That shows how much I pay attention. Anyway, in the last episode, we sent the rescue pod thing over to Spash Space. I don't know what you want to call it. Why is my closest approach? Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can... Well, it seems like we couldn't have picked a worse time to launch. Because it's like... It won't... Oh my... No! Okay. So we're just going to let it go around here and revolve while I talk about some things. So today... It's Saturday. Huh, sorry. I'm tired, so it's Saturday. Anyway, today is Saturday, the 8th of August. And I am recording all of this pre-recorded. So if you guys have any suggestions in the comments, I'm sorry I can't get to them. I can read your comments, but I can't get to any suggestions. I'm also holding this maneuver node so that it will like it's it'll show me my encounter with Duna. Oh, that was not a good idea. I probably just broke it. Oh. Oop, oop. Come on, we're almost there. Wait, what? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I do to my maneuver to break it? Extreme concentration. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Well, alright then. I will meet you guys. Um, oh, sorry. I will meet you guys when we get our orbit all aligned so we can head out towards Duna. Okay, we are aligned with Duna. And I totally forgot something about the nuclear engines. They are... The slowest thing in the world. I forgot to mo remove the oxidizer from this. They are the slowest thrusting engines in the world. They may be efficient, but there's a reason they have six minutes to spend this much delta V. I'm so glad that my spacecraft can time warp without getting exploded. Ah. Anyway, here we are, coming up on Anduna, Anduna, Anduna. And so, like I said, we will land on Duna. Um, you guys might not see as much as I end up seeing, just because landing at the particular spot that I want to will take time. What is this witchcraft? Um, my orbit is insane. Uh, oh, because I'm still orbiting the sun, genius. There we go. My orbit is still insane. Whatever. We'll get through. Ooh, geez, no. Please don't do that. We'll get through pretty soon. I mean, you know, these kinds of burns take forever. And... You know, they take forever. And I'm at four times time accelerate, you know, my gosh. Oh, the good old days. I actually tried one time. I tried to get to Moho, and I had these things, but I had like three sets of them on the outside, and I kept dumping them and dumping them. Maybe one day I'll go to. I'll make like a new series called like Noob Spacecrafts or something, where I just totally like build spaceships the way I used to before I really. Had like the tools like Kerbal Engineer and stuff to figure out 
what I was doing. Oh, that would be that would be super fun. I might just do that after I get back from my vacation. Uh, that would be good. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of time warp here. Um, let's get into our good old. Do not encounter Ike, please. Thank y'all. Good old 400,000 meter orbit. And also, did this in case I time warp and fly away? Holy cow. Whoa. This is a super slow orbit. Dang. Oh, look at how fast this thing's going. Oh, it's spinning. It's spinning and Ike is going pretty fast, actually. Let's go to Perry Ups. We are going to need a parking orbit. But, whatever. Parking orbits, they don't... They kinda, they're kind of cool to have. Even though that statement didn't make sense at all. Dude, Ike is just sitting there. It's like, oh, one of these days, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get ya. You're gonna try to get out of doing it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak up and get ya. I'm gonna get you so you don't do anything, and then you're gonna finally do some experiments on me and like stuff. I'm just spending as much fuel as I can with these nuclear engines because I don't need them, technically. Shoot, I gotta wait another revolution. Oh my gosh! No! Where's the. I need, like, the perfect time. Okay, next revolution, I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and land. No, next revolution. I'm running out of patience here. Alright. Here we go. Periaps for orbit, not surface. That would be bad. Go ahead and retract these. Alright, it says I don't have a lot of fuel, and in reality, I don't have a lot of fuel. Okay. Um. Let's just hope I'm in within walking distance for the Kerbals. Okay, based on Duna's rotation... How long until I get to Periaps? So this thing's probably gonna rotate. So I'm going to take a guesstimate. I'm going to quick save here. I'm doing like math numbers and letters and things. Let's go ahead and do our burn. I'm actually hoping that the parachutes on this vessel work for me. And I don't have to sit here and use engine fuel and stuff to... Get me out of my situation. Boom, how long till periaps? 31 minutes. I guarantee you, this thing is gonna turn. Well, I did my math incorrectly. Shoot. Alright. Surface temp. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start slowing ourselves down. I am also going to set this guy as target. How far, <laughs> how far are we away from it? It doesn't even show. We are so far away from it. Oh my gosh. 33. Oh man, we got to figure this out. Ooh, 
oh, 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 oh. Can we hurry up and run out of fuel? Like now? Because it would be really good if we ran out. Oh, we're going too fast, right? Time to kick it into high gear. Once we run out of fuel. Go ahead. Oh, I just deployed the... I deployed the parachutes. This is not gonna end well at all. Don't worry, I quick saved for a reason. <laughs> I knew I was gonna mess up. What's our surface? What? Oh my gosh. Slow me down. What's our surface? Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and Let's reload that. Let's go ahead and try again. Try, 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 try. So each time I do this, I learn a little more about what I am supposed to be doing. That seems so beautiful. So this is quite difficult. I mean, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm just not sending my fuel out, because this is the part where if I seem like an expert at Kerbal Space Program, you were wrong. I am not an expert at this, at this game at all. I am a casual player. Okay. So then, I'm going to sir. Ooh. Let's get to this, and then just slow myself down. If I get an atmosphere... So be it. Okay. Interesting. I overshot it. Uh huh. Good. I ran out of fuel. Okay. Really quickly. That almost looked like a suicide burn where we did it at the last minute. That would have looked cool. Let's go ahead and G this up. Okay, hopefully we land. I'm just like, if I have to, I'm going to make the Kerbals walk. Because it won't be very fun watching them try to do stuff. Hopefully I don't waste too much fuel. I'm going to waste a lot of fuel. Yes, deploy. Yes, slow me down. Slow me down. Um, if this gets to 2,500, this is not going to be good. Ah! I don't care if it's risky. Deploy those two. Slow me down a lot. I'm about ready to cut the engines, dude. This is insane. Okay, cool. We are going to land with a bump. There's a big bump. All right. Finally, we landed this thing right there and our spacecraft somewhere over there, right? It's somewhere over there. Um I will say this night right now. I'm going to quick save. We definitely have more fuel than when we started. I will say that. Whether we have enough fuel to get out into, like, two Kerbin, I don't know. I really hope we do. And I hope we don't 
like burn in the atmosphere or anything like that. So I'll walk the Kerbals over. And now, as you can see, Bob Zer and Don Gel are in the um um I call it this is also called Duna Bravo, the rescue pod. And I actually had enough fuel in the other Duna Bravo to get this into um to um kind of fly towards this thing. Yeah. So it I flew towards it or a bit please. Ah, not this again. All right, whatever. Anyway, so I just kind of flew it. I almost couldn't get on this thing. Um Ah, it's a broken leg. Who cares? We'll just G this up then. It's really a broken leg right now. Anyway, we are going out to space. Yay. Yay, space. Let's go to space. Let's go to space. We don't have enough fuel to get back. This is stupid. We don't have enough fuel to get back. At least I don't think. Add newer prograde and yeah, we don't have enough fuel to get back to Kerbal. <laughs> Great. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. How much more fuel? Two, two, uh, do we get more fuel? No? Well, guys, we are kind of screwed over. Man, this this sucks. This really sucks. So we're gonna have to put this thing into a parking orbit. Go that way. Jeez. Luckily, I'm pretty sure if we have enough fuel, can we do that? Yeah, we can definitely put it into a parking orbit. And extend the solar panels. Yes, extend the solar panels of awesomeness so we don't run out of electricity here. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't know what to say. Um, so this is just an extension of the other videos. Um,. I'm pretty sure I did my outro already, so uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, tell me in the comments below. I hope it made your day a little chappier. I'm SodaMan148X, and goodbye.